YouTube, so I'm back with another video. Um, so I've been working on this bike for the past um, year or so. It's a 2005 GSXR 600. Um, when I first got it, I had got my tags and everything. And it's been a year since then. But, um, now I got <clears throat> it running and it runs good uh the only thing i need to really fix now is just the seat see how the seat is ripped i'm just going to replace that uh other than that runs fine the battery is dead right now so i can't really fire it up right now but i just took it around the block um It only has 34,000 miles and it's warm right now so um yeah but that's all what was wrong with the whole whole entire time the reason it wouldn't start there's something on the fuel fuel pump on the inside of the tank the fuel pumps inside the tank there's something in in there that uh keeps the pressure back and keeps it together well um that had blowed off or fell off when i put the tank back in or the fuel pump back in or something like that because it didn't want to run for a while um it shut off on me i was going down the road and it uh did that and we couldn't figure out me and my buddy we couldn't figure out how to get it start back up we tried everything electrical everything we placed a lot of stuff on it and <clears throat> i'm kind of angry that i placed a lot of that stuff because the whole entire time it was just that little piece that was down inside the fuel tank that that fell off so i just put it back on and then to keep it from blown back off i just put some zip ties around the fuel fuel screen and then that piece just to hold it on and pull it real tight and riding around started right up yesterday and rode it around and, and i just got to fix the battery issue where the battery don't want to charge which easy fix all i gotta do is go buy a new battery see doesn't want to start everything else shows up but easy fix right now is just to jump it off i have a little jumper box in the house that uh you hook up to the you hook it up but it's a wall plug-in you can charge it and it's portable you can charge it and the wall plug-in you can charge it in your car but and then you can bring it with you but um i think it's only good for one one time use each time you use it because every time i used it on this i'd have to charge it right away right after so i'll bring it along on my ride just in case charge it up keep it charged up i mean this thing has in the back and i'll show you in the back it has uh I just burnt my leg on the, uh, there's a little key thing right here, and it opens up the trunk. The back, the back seat comes off and opens up into a trunk. Uh, like what I was telling you, there's these things that's already in the bike. It just needs hooked up. To the battery um i have to run new wires for it and do that but i can charge that battery charger on here as i'm riding so it won't really matter but uh and it's small enough that the battery charger can fit right in here and bring it along with me so it's not too bad that that hurt
burnt myself right there on the plate. Burnt right there. I was trying to show you guys. But anyways, if you like this video, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell for notification down in the right hand corner so you know when I'm posting. I post every once in a while. I don't post every day. Um, but uh, I, I do have a RMZ250 as well that I'm rebuilding. And I got it all the way done except the head needs put on and the um, yeah the head needs put on and it needs put in time. And that's all. But I can't get a hold of the guy that uh, was rebuilding it for me. So I gotta wait for him. Oh, another thing I like about this steering wheel locks so no one can take off of your bike and put it in the right position I don't know where now bub anyways like comment subscribe don't forget to hit that no bell notification down in the right hand corner so you know what I'm posting peace